everybody and welcome to She Shays with your host Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. Let's get right into this review today. Today I'm going to be reviewing something from um, Julie Dyers. There's her business card. You can pause it and get that information if you would like. I will have it down below in the information too. And that's Bumble and Company. And this is going to be on her Shea Soap. And this is um, a, a patchouli, lavender, and pine scent. So that is what I'm, the main uh, focus of this review is. I'm going to be using my um, Game Changer .84 plate today with a Permasharp on its second use for the razor. Um, I'm going to start with this little uh, bore brush to um, lather up. And I'm going to try that. So, and there's the shave soap. Like I say, it's patchouli, lavender, and pine. She also sent along this beautiful little sachet I can throw in my drawer. So, let's get the top off of this canister. Now, this little bore has been uh, it's not broken in yet, and it's been soaking for um, quite some time. And I did soak my face and prep it for about three minutes with hot water. Uh, let me re-wet it, because while I was setting up, of course, some of that moisture would be gone. So I'm going in with kind of a dry brush. I shook all the water off. I have not pre-lathered or pre-used this before, so this is a very first time uh, use of the soap. That can be a dangerous thing or it can be a good thing. <laughs> of course, this brush, I may end up changing brushes, depending. I have a, another brush here in its stead. And let me put even more water. Because this is a new bore brush, and I don't know how it's going to react. I've been doing the three-day um, uh, cold water in the fridge and other things to break it in. So like I say... This is a patchouli, lavender, and pine scent. It smells very nice. All natural. It feels nice on the face. Like I say, I'm breaking in this boar brush, so... I may change over to a synthetic. To continue lathering. I say I've not lathered it yet. It smells nice. Very nice. It's all natural. Lavender essential oil, shea butter, bentonite clay. some more soap to that. And this is kind of on a new brush, so I think for my second pass I'll change over to the uh, synthetic. I 
don't know how much water this will take. Right now, it's uh, not very much of a cloud. I'll use this bore brush for the first pass, but then I'm going to change over because this is a new brush. Oh, let me add some more water. I don't know how much water it can or can't take. Well, I'm going to go for that for right now. And let's do the first pass. My game changer, 0.84. Very slick. Very nice glide on that. Even though it wasn't a huge, uh, fluffy lather. That will come with practice. And using different brushes. So I'm going to see what it's like with just residual. You wouldn't normally do this, but I'm, like I say, I'm testing it for that quality. So it does uh, have some nice residual there that you can shave without even any uh, vis visible soap on the face. So let me change over now to my um, West Coast Shaving Two-Tone with a synthetic not and see what that does but that does feel nice and soft my skin is very soft um, it provided the protection even though it wasn't big and fluffy and it smells divine so it's got that going for it I think it'll do better with this brush here that I'm going to use now Boy, I'm, an, I'm making a mess. Let's use some of that pro leather. Get a base down first, and then I'll start adding water. I've never been one of those that judges a soap on how thick the lather is, because there are some soaps out there that just have a low structure lather. And they're very good. It feels very nice on the face. There we go. We're getting a better lather this time with my synthetic. More water.
get up there no stud. There we go. The lather's developing nicely now. Very nicely. Okay, let's do a second pass. There is some nice glide on my face. And the residual is very good. So I'll experiment more with lathering it, but I don't think it's ever going to be a real big poofy, um, cloudy lather, but I'll continue to work with it. Very nice. Yeah, you know, the residual is wonderful on this soap. Very nice glide. Performing very well. I could probably call this a, the end of the shave after this pass. Of course, I'm making quite a few passes. But I wanted to see how the residual works. And it's working very well without any visible lather on my face. As you can see. Alright, let me put some water to that and see where we're at. Just a little bit more down here. A lot of glide. A lot of residual. Okay, let's do this chin. And the scent got even better as it's lathered. Yeah, that lather's starting to come up better. Just a question of me working with it more. Yeah, definitely getting a thicker lather now. That's all user. There we go. Now we're getting a nice thicker lather. I just didn't want to break the soap. So I added some more water. And getting quite a nice lather now. Like I say, this scent is really nice. Let's go to the trouble areas here. caught it. Hope I don't have any blood letting. Get up there, nose stud. Of 
good protection up there. Very nice glide. Good job, Julie. Wow. The residual is crazy good. I'll trade good residual with big fluffy clouds any day. That, my friends, is going to be a BBS shave. Again, with my Game Changer Razor on the .84 plate. Three pass shave, and that's a done deal. Let me rinse my face, and I'll be right back. stud. It's coming out of my nose. Oh, that hurt. All right. You got a good product here, Julie. She does just have the one scent, but she's got um, a line of products to go with it, like I say, aftershaves and a lot of beard care product for you guys that have mustaches and beards. And that was a great shave, Julie. The residual is crazy good. Very nice. My face feels so soft. Got soap behind my ear. I always tease Kevin, I mean, uh, Ken surfs about that. I get to my earring. All right, great shave. Thank you very much, Julie, for sending that along. Again, that's Bumble and Company, and this is the uh, lav <coughs> sorry, lavender. Uh, Patchouli Lavender and Pine. Very nice. She's uh, changing her packaging up um, and doing a little uh, uh, revamping. But uh, I will give you the um, link to her website down below and her Etsy uh, link down below too. So let's put some... That's really nice. Let's put some airs on. Oh, just dropped my bone. Ah. Okay, we did that, and I'm going to close it off by Sterling Company's unscented poche balm. And I still leave my face a little damp from the uh, witch hazel when I put my balm on. That's just a personal preference. Get up there, no stud. Trying to come out on me. All right, Julie, you got a good product there. So, again, that's uh, Julie Dares at Bumble and Company. And I'll, again, like I say, I'll put all the information down below for her company. And there is the container for the soap. The ingredients are great. Great ingredients. So thank you, Julie, for sending that along to me. If you guys have any questions or anything, 
Um, I will have my uh, email down below. If you've not subscribed already, please do. And you might as well hit that ding dong next to it to get notifications when my new uh, videos are up. And give me a thumbs up too. So again, another great product. And I am going to say goodbye for right now. But you know, I love you guys, right? Right. Bye.